So I just pray, Lord, help me. Don't let me ruin it. Guide my hand. I went to Alfred University. I have a bachelor's degree in fine arts, and I um, didn't know I was going to be a photographer, but got out of school, and I'm like, well, what am I going to do? So I got a job at a portrait studio, and then um, I met my partner, and we started our own studio, and we specialized in children, and um, doing the white background, the high key, with all kinds of props, and and just having fun. Okay, one, two, three. The end of 2009, my lab called and said they were going to stop developing film. And that was the point where I was like, Lord, what am I supposed to do? I remember coming into the studio, walking in, and I knew I was saying goodbye to 20 some years of how I worked it. And I knew that if I was going digital, all the portraits would come down. So I was there and I was crying and crying. And I wasn't sad, like I wasn't feeling sorry for myself. It was like I was, that part of my life, I knew that door was closed and the next one was opening. So it was like as I, I'm closing this door and I'm just like, you know, going through the years and I'll cry just thinking about it. And um, so I just over there crying and crying and I'm like, Lord, I trust in you, whatever you want me to do. But I felt really peaceful. But, and, but I knew, I, all I knew, all I could see was all the portraits coming off the walls. And, and when I look back now, when I, in, when I had a glimpse where I saw all those portraits down, and now when I open that door and see all those paintings and all those prints, it, it's, it's pretty awesome. I came up here and I decided I was going to paint after not painting for 15 years. I think I had stopped painting well, because my business, I was so busy, but also the last paintings I did, I felt like there was something missing. I was in church and the priest said his homily was praying all you do. So I thought, I'm going to paint, but I'm going to pray. And a, a couple of people that I knew were sick, and so I decided to pray for them. In January of 2010, I painted a painting called Heather's, and I was praying for my cousin Heather. I had photographed that and the other paintings that I had done and um, took it to a, a local gallery. Some of the artists there told me they saw angels in the sky. As I paint, people have found more and more in them, writing, words. And as I tell them the story, what, and they start telling me what they see. I mean, a woman saw a photograph of her father in a brushstroke. I mean, it's just, and people see that. It's not like the one person saw it, I point it out, and then they, other people see it. The community, you know, all the, the people that come in, or they're, whether they're in the local restaurant, um, when they were in the gallery, people are very receptive. Sometimes I think, I don't even know these people I'm talking when I, when it was the first Friday at Burger Mondays, I'm thinking, here I'm going on telling them this whole process, and then they, they connect with it. It's like they don't say, walk away, they'll like share something in their life, and that's, that's what the cool thing is about it. Like it's complete strangers, it's not just the people coming in the studio that know me, it's like someone just coming from First Friday, seeing them, and then sharing when I... I tell them the story or what they see, that how it connects to them. It's not about me. It's, they're not my paintings. It's like, how can these paintings touch people's life? I'm just the instrument, um, the Holy Spirit working through me to touch other people. And then they'll touch other people. I'd encourage people, everyone has a gift, so get going, find out what it is, and... and Share it. You were chosen by the Father. You were chosen for the Son. You were chosen Look how pretty. Three. Perfect. That's beautiful. Oh, I can't say that. Show you. 
gentle woman, quiet heart, morning star, self-struck and bright, gentle mother.